Hi beauties, I'm Mariam. Welcome back to my channel. Today's classic pointed cat eye and popping red lip combo was inspired by Chloe Wine Pinot Noir and is the perfect look for any upscale event. A soiree, a gallery opening, or a charity event where you need to look sophisticated, glamorous, and elegant. I modernized the look with a bit of glitter on the inner corner to add some playfulness and interest to the eye and kept the lips matte so the color stays put while you're sipping and of course I matched it to the gorgeous red of this Pinot Noir. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial, sit back, relax and wind down. Don't mind if I do, cheers! First step is primer. I'm using a mattifying formula and applying it to the center of my face and my T-zone to help my makeup stay fresh all night long. For a flawless skin finish, I'm using a smoothing foundation over the mattifying primer and I'm applying it with a large stippling brush. Use circular motions to buff the foundation into the skin for that airbrushed look, concentrating the product on the areas that need the most coverage. Apply to the rest of the face and be sure to blend the hairline and into the neck to avoid a demarcation line. Use a peachy toned creamy concealer that's a couple shades lighter than your skin to cover and brighten the under eye area. Then blend everything out with a damp beauty blender sponge. To set your foundation and concealer, dip the sponge into a translucent setting powder and apply to all the areas that need special attention. The under eye, the T-zone, the forehead, and the nose bridge. You may also use this technique to highlight along the jawline to bring out the cheekbones. While you wait for your makeup to bake, take the time to do your brows. I'm using a chocolate brown pomade to define, thicken, and elongate my brows. I always prefer a strong brow with a dramatic cat eye look. Be sure to blend the product with a spoolie, brushing out any excess. Next, use a large fluffy brush to dust off the setting powder, aka baking powder. This method truly works and leaves the skin looking super smooth and creaseless. Add a bit of neutral blush to the apples of the cheeks and use a sculpting powder to add some natural definition to the forehead and the cheekbones. Highlighter is a must, especially for evening makeup. It gives that perfect glow from within that is so youthful and fresh. Be sure to apply it over the cupid's bow and down the nose bridge. Moving on to the eyes. Prime the lids, smoothing the product over the top and bottom lash lines. To define the eye, add a nude shadow to the crease using a fluffy brush and windshield wiper motions. Next, use an eggshell color to apply it to the movable part of the lid. Using a pearly shadow and a pointed brush, define the high point under the brow arch and blend it down. Next, clean up and seal the brows with brow gel. This will get rid of any loose eyeshadow on the brow hairs. Wing out the lash line starting at the outer corner, then drag it back to meet with the inner corner. Fill in the shape, then gradually thicken the line as desired. I'm going for a dramatic pointed cat eye, so I'm also extending the liner slightly past the tear duct. Lining the lower lash line can make the eye seem very heavy, so I'm going for drawn on lash extensions instead. This will help my lower lashes look fuller, thus making my eye look bigger and brighter. Apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes. This will also help masquerade those twiggies you just drew on. Time for that pop of glitter. I'm applying glitter adhesive to the inner corner, then I'm dipping my pinky into the chunky glitter and dotting it on to my tear duct. So easy, and look how pretty! Next, I'm applying lash glue to my falsies. Make sure you give it a good few seconds to get tacky, then attach it to the center of the lash line, tucking in the corners. And there goes our eye look. So pretty, so fresh and easy. I love it. For the lips, I'm using a plush red lip liner, outlining the shape and filling in the lips. Then I'm tapping it with a matte, non-transferable red lipstick, which is, in my opinion, the only kind you should wear while eating or drinking wine. And here's our final look. The classic pointed cat eye, the matte red lip that is non-transferable, the sleek pulled back hair inspired by Chloe Wine Pinot Noir. Thank you so much for watching, till next time. And now I'm off to enjoy the rest of my day and want to wish you the same. So please enjoy to the fullest. Cheers!